In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to snipe even faster than sniping bots on FIFA 23. So you might be having trouble sniping, you always just miss that card in the 59th minute. This is the video for you so you guys can never miss a card again. Here is just a teaser of some of the cards I have picked up on the snipe using these methods. And it is so, so easy to win cards. You will think, why did you never snipe like this? But quickly guys, if you need any FIFA 23 coins, make sure to check out MuleFactory.com. They're linked in the description, they're cheap and reliable, and make sure to use the discount code IHAS5 at checkout for a discount. So normal sniping, you'd be on the market searching like this, and you'll find a card and you'll get hit with this. Sorry this listing has expired, you're too slow on that snipe. And this sniping filter, you will be a whole two seconds faster than normal sniping. And in theory, you can actually win every single card and even beat the sniping bots. As we can see, normal sniping, you have no chance at all. So why is this? On the EA transfer market, and I believe web app, when you're searching for a card or doing any sort of interaction, there is actually a two second delay on what you're trying to do. We'll show you with a quick example. Say I just go onto the market and pick a random card. We've got this ham sitch here. There is a two second delay. So if you actually bid with two or one second left on a card, the bid won't actually go through. I'll show you here. Say I go to bid 750 coins. One second, I bid. It says your bid could not be placed. There's no one outbidded me. I could have bid on this card. There is just a delay in the transfer market, which is a, over one second, around two whole seconds. So that is why you're slow to snipe. You'll see a card, you'll press buy. But remember, there's a whole one second where someone could have bought that card before you, like a bot could have picked it up, or someone using this method. So how do you then perform this sniping filter? You need to go over to your squad. Let me know what you think of my squad. It's basically all untradeables, so yeah, it's pretty good, it's all right. And then you wanna press L1 or LB, or even triangle. You wanna to head to the transfer market through the squad menu. And here, there is no delay. So the same filter I was using earlier, we go rule breakers, center backs, and they're around 40,000 coins. We can check the market. So 45K, we've got quite a few Benucci's. Then you will actually have to press triangle to go back. If you press back, it will put you back into your squad. So you press triangle to go back to your filter, check the price again and press triangle. So they're going for about 44,000 coins. So we want to snipe them at about 41K. And then when we're sniping, it gets very simple. You change the price as normal, search, press triangle to go back, change the price, search. And it's normal sniping, however, you're not pressing back at all, you're just pressing triangle to go back each search, and there is no delay. Also, you'll find that the searching is actually a lot faster than a normal search on the market. It seems like there's less lag when you're searching through the squad, which is very nice, and also you don't really get kicked out on ultimate team. There we go. You can see 43,000 coins with a shadow. He has actually gone up in price. They're worth around 45,500 coins now. But it's that simple. Again, it will take time for you to practice and get better with this sniping method. And sometimes you might actually find that you'll search, you'll see a card, and you'll press triangle to go back. That happens to me quite a lot of times. But once you get the hang of it, you will be able to get a lot faster and better. Also, there is actually a second view you can do. So if you press L3 or the L left stick, I believe on Xbox, you can have this list view. This might find it a little bit easier for you to notice when there's a card because you'll get this big old box show up on your screen. For example, when we're searching, you'd see nothing. But if we do, in fact, raise the price up and see a card, you'll get a big box so you know there's cards. And you can see their price on the right hand side if there's multiple. So you can try different methods out and see what you prefer. But sniping in the squad, so many times quicker than normal sniping, you have to try it out. This is me from the future, but we're back sniping. So these rule breakers have gone up a little bit. They're worth around 49,000 coins now. But I will show you guys the filter in action. There we go, picked up a Benucci, and I wanna say he's actually worth even more. So I'm gonna send him the transfer list, and we are gonna go and check his price. I don't know what is bugging out here, but that looks pretty cool. So if I just put it to Italy, I can actually check Benucci's price, because I know he's a bit more, as we can see, 
53,000 coins. And I think we picked him up for what, 46K? A bot would definitely be looking at that. Yeah, we picked up Benucci for 46,000 coins. We can list him on for 53K. And that's a juicy profit there. And it just shows the power. And he's got a uh, shadow on him. To be fair, I'm going to go 53, 500. Get a bit more coins out of that one. This is the best sniping method. Well, the fastest way to snipe if you guys do want to pick up cards. Again, I prefer the transfer market, like the normal sniping. However, if you actually want to pick up cards, this is the best way to do it. Just a quick one to wrap it up here. YouTube thinks you should watch this video next. Again, if this did help you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe down below to the channel because I do upload best sniping filters to use with this new sniping method. And yeah, I'll see you guys on my next video.